was good with y'all. It's your boy AD, and to be honest, most zombie games slash modes turn out to be entertaining in my opinion, but for the game we're talking about today, that is not the case as Days Gone developed by SIE Interactive Entertainment has gotten a lot of mixed reviews from fans and critics, and that's unusual as this is a published PlayStation 4 exclusive, which means this game is following the Game Awards 2018 Game of the Year in God of War and Insomniac's developed Spider-Man Classic and Spider-Man PS4. But for those of you that don't know what Days Gone is, it's a story set in post-apocalyptic Oregon two years after the global pandemic and Deacon who is the main character finds out there's a chance his wife Sarah is alive so he goes on a quest to find her and that's basically what the whole game is about. So for this video I'm just rounding up all the reviews which is going to be different from my analytic reviews because that's from my personal opinion but this video is going to be just telling you what other people like critics and fans were thinking about when they was playing the game. So before we get further into this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoy it while also sharing this video to help my channel grow now starting with sales days gone did much better in the sales perspective than the reviews because they outdid god of war sales in japan which is just one market but like but them outdoing god of war in any market in sales is a big accomplishment but then again god of war was really known more for how it played than it sailed because people was really saying game of the year when they had enough experience in playing throughout the game and they realized how good the game really was I don't really think the game was known more for sales than it was gameplay wise but also Days Gone topped the UK video game sales chart for three weeks straight beating out Mortal Kombat which is a huge accomplishment in my opinion because Mortal Kombat outdoes itself every single time it comes out with a new release so for Days Gone to be topping Mortal Kombat 11 in the UK sales chart is a very big accomplishment also Days Gone had the biggest physical sales launch of this year so far in the UK which is not really a big deal because who really buys physical anymore I mean sometimes I do but for the most part I like to buy it off the console store that I'm playing on so let me know if you even buy physicals anymore or is it just all digital games now I think it's going away with all these companies making a streaming service for the very own cloud so I believe they're preparing for physicals to go extinct in the near future kind of like music like streaming and Spotify and, and just those type of platforms I feel like gaming is going in that direction now getting into pros and cons about days gone one of the main cons that I heard from people playing the game and from critics is saying that the game is really buggy and glitchy and for me watching others play the game you can really tell that the game should have spent a little bit longer in development as missions that was supposed to be the tutorial were glitching and just game breaking bugs that made you reset the entire game to try to fix so for anyone buying a game you wouldn't want to not be able to get past the tutorial because of a glitch happening over and over and having to keep resetting your game that was the biggest con that I kept hearing from reviews another con is that the aiming was worse than Red Dead Redemption 2 which if you play Red Dead Redemption 2 the aiming on that game was really bad because it was more like free aim than aim assist and for non-PC players you really need that aim assist because you really can't pinpoint like you can with the mouse and keyboard. But they did say the aiming got better 6 to 8 hours into the game but who really wants to play 6 to 8 hours of free aim until you actually improve your aim. That's a lot of hours just to not be able to aim at anything so nobody really has time for that. Plus this game takes 30 to 60 hours to complete so if you buy this game you're definitely going to get your money's worth. As a 30 to 60 hour game it's important for somebody that's thinking about if they want to buy the game at full price or not. Also another complaint I kept seeing was even though the cutscenes look really well done and made and developed it was really boring as some people who played the game called it a walking simulator as you went from cutscene to cutscene with little to no gameplay. So from that aspect I could see how they'll get bored because if the cutscenes aren't engaging then you're really just watching a movie that you'd rather be playing. And for my last con I would say that Days Gone only having two ways to attack a mission whether it be stealth or aggressive is really bare bones because most games that are made in the open world environment for example I would bring up Splinter Cell games even though they wasn't open world there's ways to attack missions in a lot of different ways like you can, you can go on different paths to complete your mission and for days gone there's really just two ways aggressive or stealth and while the stealth is fun for the first 10 to 12 hours it gets kind of boring as you're doing the same things over and over and there's, there's really no diversity in the way you're taking on these missions but ending this on a good note because I want to end on a positive note for this game because this game does have things it does well that if they improve on they really I could see a sequel coming in the future because this game like I said during the beginning of the video did sell really well so for my first pro as I was saying throughout this whole video the cutscenes and gameplay looks great so you can really tell they took their time with the character models and just the environment they put Deacon the main character in and how they just sculpted it to make it look realistic and make the player feel immersed while playing as the main character and one of the most unique parts about this game is definitely Deacon's bike because 
much from the reviews and fans of the game that I've heard from. It handles great and fun just to mess around with because it's not too realistic. It's like that arcade style you feel in GTA. The way you drift and accelerate and turbo. I don't even know how he has turbo on his bike in post-apocalyptic world. So somebody who plays the game explained it to me because I don't see where he would get turbo from unless he grew up as a mechanic. But anyways, Days Gone progression system is not as tedious as everything you do in the game gives you a lot of rewards for completing it. So kind of like in Spider-Man PS4 how you did a lot of side missions and different objectives you will get rewarded in ways to upgrade your character or gadgets throughout the game. Days Gone is the same way as you complete side missions and objectives you get a lot of rewards to upgrade your bike or your weapons to be able to take on zombies more efficiently and most importantly get to mess around with more interesting guns. And like most if not all people that play the game they did say that upgrades make the gameplay a lot more enjoyable so if you can get through that first six to eight hours in the game then you'll really start to warm up to the game and eventually have fun with it. From all the fan reviews that I've read and from all the gameplay that I've watched from other people playing the game I would say that in, in conclusion I would say that this is a middle of the road type game but that doesn't mean it's bad it's just not game of the year contention type of video game. So moving on to critics reviews on Metacritic the PS4 version which because this game is a PlayStation 4 exclusive Metacritic gave it a score of 71 out of 100 while the user score is a 8.1 out of 10. So of all the critic reviews that I've seen I would say that Metacritic had the highest score along with the user review. IGN gave Days Gone a 6.5 out of 10 saying Days Gone is fun in small bursts but Days Gone repetition bland world and meandering story unremarkable ride. I don't even know what meandering means but hopefully I said it right. GameSpot gave Days Gone a 5 out of 10 which is the lowest score I've seen from fans or critics. Anyways they gave it a 5 out of 10 with the person who reviewed it saying quote I kept going because I hope to find something to follow a thread to a possibly fascinating or satisfying or impactful conclusion but at the end of it all I'd only gotten scraps. Let me know in the comment section below if you think Days Gone is getting too many negative reviews if you have played it or do you think it's just right because with me watching and reading and listening to reviews I can see how Days Gone could be a really good game for somebody who really don't play a lot of games throughout the year but for somebody as a game reviewer you can see how just doing what works will get reviewed like this for most critics because when a critic reviews a game usually they're looking for something unique. Let me know how y'all feel about Days Gone and also for my next video I was thinking about playing Mortal Kombat 11 ranked matches and just recording that and seeing how that plays out in the video. So also let me know if you would like to see me play ranked matches in MK11 because you never know how it can turn out. I could get beat or I could win. I can just have fun while doing both and put it into a video. I'll probably put a poll seeing if y'all want that or not so make sure to vote and let me know. So yeah that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this make sure to let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe and share this with your friend, neighbor, dog or just send this to the person across the street playing on Xbox flipping through the panels with no games to play because without them this wouldn't be possible and with that I'm out.